Welcome to Noosa. Today in this video, we're gonna be taking you around the points and all the other spots that we get to enjoy here and surf every single day. So to kick things off, let's start at the river mouth. The river mouth offers a really incredible ride. It can peak up anywhere from two to four foot, sometimes even overhead. This is definitely more so for an advanced surfer. Some of the more beginner surfers are best going down the beach here to the groin. The groin is one of the most easily accessible spots, especially if you're staying on Hastings Street. Let's jump down now to Noosa Main Beach. This is more so just a place for swimmers or people who want to relax. But further up from here, we have First Point. Located at the end of Hastings Street, this spot is renowned for longboarding, especially when the waves are small. However, when big, it's perfect for shortboarders. Waves typically break and range from one to three feet. Let's head up a bit now to Little Cove. It's a scenic spot, Little Cove, and it's ideal for longboarders. The waves break right and usually measure between one to three feet. It offers a serene environment and is perfect for learning. A lot of families like to hang out here and it's pretty obvious why. Jumping up from Little Cove, we're gonna hit Nationals. This spot is for the advanced surfers. Located near the National Park, it has treacherous rocks, but offers amazing long rides. The waves predominantly break right and are between two to four foot, although they can get quite big during the storms. Make sure when you're coming into Nationals to stay patient, as finding a car park can be pretty challenging, but patience and kindness go a long way. Next, we've got the boiling pot. This place is fun, probably one of my favorites. It's extremely sucky off the bottom. On a good day, it can get quite high, at least overhead, and you are in store for a very fun ride. Heading up then, we've got Tea Tree Bay. Often considered one of the most famous spots in the area, Tea Tree is a piece of paradise with fantastic waves. The wave is a classic point break, which comes all the way through the bay. It can be fun anywhere from one to four foot. On a good day, it's definitely for the advanced surfers, so make sure that you're ready. This place does get pretty crowded and it's important to be patient, be kind, and make sure to watch out for other surfers. Heading on now to Granite Bay. This location often has the biggest waves in town. It's a long walk, which is good because that means the crowds are usually pretty small. We like to keep this spot on the low, especially as locals. So make sure you do the same whenever you come along. The long walk is definitely worth the effort, especially for the views. Next up around the bend, we've got Alexander Bay, or as we call it, A Bay. This remote spot is more challenging to reach and is known for its rips. However, it offers waves that break both left and right, usually around two to four foot. For those of you who are into it, it's also a nudist beach. Otherwise, if that's not your scene, stick to the north end, you'll be fine. Finally, we've got our open beaches, starting with Sunshine Beach. Right here, in the pocket, these beaches are perfect when the conditions are clean. Waves break left and right and are typically between two to four feet. These beaches offer faster waves compared to the points and are best suited for experienced surfers. From all of us here at Golden Breed, we hope this guide gives you a comprehensive overview of the surfing spots around Noosa. If you're a novice or an experienced surfer, make sure when you come, respect the locals, be patient, be kind, everyone's here to catch a wave, and if you play your cards right, you might just get the wave of your life.